Good morning. It is uh, 5.37. I'm awake and I am going down to work. Any guesses on where I slept last night? Any guesses? Taking guesses. I slept in front of Princess Otto. <laughs> Such a random place to sleep. I love how early it gets light out right now. I mean, five, 540 and it is light out. Don't get me wrong, I love the shots where I drive away, but boy, is it a lot of work. The ones that never do let go. And so I'm just stopping here at um, uh, Fort Victoria RV Park, and I'm just gonna see if their dump station is open. I'll probably have to pay seven bucks. It's seven dollars here. But my gray water is extremely full right now. And when it gets to a certain point, it really, really starts to stink. And so I'm gonna dump it right now. But before that, I'm actually just gonna take a quick shower because I might as well, I mean, I'm dumping my gray water right now. Why dump it, fill up with fresh water, then go to work and take a shower? Why not take a shower right now, then dump that, get it? Awesome. So my fresh water tank probably takes around 10 minutes to fill completely. The spot that I'm at right now is Fort Victoria and Fort Victoria is a campground where people, a lot of people come here for the summertime. Uh, they park for six months and then they take off during the winter. So it's a very, very popular campsite. That is one of the best feelings when you dump your gray and black water tank and you fill up with fresh water. It's like you, everything's fresh. You know that uh, you don't have to worry about it for like another week or two weeks, depending on how much you use it. But uh, love the feeling. Um, so I'm just gonna rip around and pay $7 like I said. It looks like they're closed right now, but I wonder if they have a drop box for money. Cause I only have this. And if I throw those down there, it's not gonna be good. Maybe I could wrap these up. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> it works, I paid, I'm not stealing. I'm not stealing. I wonder how mad though would they actually be if I dumped my gray water, filled up with fresh water and drove away without paying seven bucks? I wonder. But you know what, I'm an honest guy and I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Although I did do it once. When I was new to RV and I didn't really know that you had to pay. I went to an RV park, it was Sunday, it was closed. There's like nobody in the office. I just saw a dump station. Didn't say anything on the dump station. So I just dumped and then left. Live and, live and you learn, right? You live and you learn. So next stop is work. Work, work, work. There's a cruise ship coming in today. I have, uh, I'm gonna help uh, the company out. Uh, they're having a hard time finding cleaners for the buses. So I'm just gonna get some extra hours and clean. Roger! 
and clean the buses. Uh, I'm do it for two hours this morning, and then I'm doing some tours later on today. So I have to find, I have to find, I have to find Lynn. Uh, got it, totally. I have to find Lynn, and she's gonna teach me how to clean buses. Roger, how do you clean buses, buddy? What? Wax on, wax on. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you just said you mind helping out and getting some extra hours, and I'm always down for helping out. You know. Like I said a million times, I just, I love this company and it's good. Oh, Roger, I'm vlogging. He's just interrupting. Unbelievable, hey? I actually think that this is the bus that I'm taking in about two hours to do uh, some tours. Today I'm going to be doing the tours off the street um, in front of the butcher, uh, in front of the Empress Hotel. So people come up, they book a tour from our little booth down there. They either book a city tour or a butcher gardens tour. And so I'm going to be doing the butcher gardens and uh, basically it leaves the street every hour uh, on the hour and then it leaves to cut, bring people back downtown from butcher gardens every hour on the hour till six. So there's two buses. so much fun cleaning buses. That big ship there is delivering yachts. See those yachts in the water? They're like two days ago there was like probably 15 yachts on this big boat and uh, they're delivering them to Victoria. This is Anna, she runs the show down here. Jade's the bus driver, you guys met Jade. And uh, the cruise ship's in, so people are starting to come in. And I do not look like a bus driver. Do I look like a bus driver right now? Yes. Look at that. You look like you're in a game. Look at that. <laughs> Wind Windex and cloth. <laughs> All finished cleaning. Let's go give some tours to some wonderful people. Thank you. Hi. 49 in case you're curious. 49? 49, yeah. Unless these guys, are they getting? Are they buying some? Are they buying? No, they're just asking you. Okay. Are we ready to get rolling? Yes. The wheels on the bus go round and round. nice does that look? Got a bite to eat before you sail off on your cruise ship. Guess who's finished work? I am uh, headed to Walmart. I have to just pick up. What do I have to pick up? I lied. I uh, don't want to go to Walmart at all. It's super late in the night. So um, there's this rental video place right across the street. And uh, because I live in an RV, I don't have Wi-Fi, so I have to rent DVDs or buy DVDs. And I used to love shopping for DVDs when Blockbuster was around, but then Blockbuster closed down, and everyone like had Netflix, and it ruined the fun of going into stores and looking for movies. So let's go look for a movie. Hello there. I used to love the new release section of the movie store. Like seeing what was new. But now that I don't watch cable, I don't have, um, I, I don't see like the trailers for any of these movies, so I don't actually know what they are. <laughs> so it's kind of, it's kind of interesting not having cable. But I guess let's just pick one. There's a lot to pick from. Cheers, eh? Have Thank a good you. one. Thank you. 
I miss that. I miss shopping for movies. There's just something so fun about it. it. Brings back all these old memories. You know, going to the store like with my mom and like having movie night when I was a kid. Like the parents would like go for dinner or whatever. They'd be like, hey, we'll get you a movie. We'll get you chips. And are you gonna be okay here? And then I'd like be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be okay. And then they'd leave the house and I'd be terrified <laughs> that there was like monsters <laughs> under the bed, you know? Uh, uh, I don't know, what am I doing? Am I sleeping here? Maybe I'll, hmm. Yeah, you know what, I'm sleeping here. This is where I'm sleeping, outside of the movie store, right here. Ice cream, movie, boondocking, love it. So I've actually seen the movie American Made um, a few times. I just love it so much and it's perfect like, I didn't want something too too deep, you know, before bed, so it's a perfect movie for that. Hope that you enjoyed the video. Keep living that dream. I'm gonna finish my ice cream, watch my movie. Really excited for the movie. Um, and then and then hit to bed, go to bed and, and get a couple hours of sleep and then go to work tomorrow morning. Did I say living the dream? Keep living the dream. Be yourself, be true to who you are, all that good stuff. Have an awesome night, guys. Take care and bye-bye. If you haven't seen, I know, I know I'm supposed to end the video, I get it, I'm sorry. If you haven't seen American Made with Tom Cruise, watch it. It's a, it's a fun, fun movie, um, and I, I think you'll really enjoy it. There's just money, I won't spoil anything, but there's just money everywhere. And he flies planes, and it's a really well done movie. What? Well,